News at 10. A week and a half into the school year, districts across the state are getting a better idea of how COVID will affect classes. Just today, Centerpoint Schools in Amity announced its eighth grade, the entire sixth grade rather, will take a virtual day tomorrow. That after half the class had to quarantine for possible exposure. Katrin Asaf joining us now live in the studio with more on what the district plans to do. Katrin, this is only for one day, at least for now. Yeah, that's right, Bob. Laura, it's just for the one day so far. Superintendent Dan Brashears tells me they expect those students not exposed to return to class on Friday, but those who might have had contact will still need to quarantine for seven to ten days. This close to the start of the school year, the decision comes as a necessary precaution against further spread and a precedent for how to handle outbreaks in the future. Just days into the school year, Center Point parents were sent this. A message announcing a virtual day for sixth graders after dozens were exposed to a COVID case. About half of our sixth grade students are now um, quarantined. Two weeks in, the school district is polling students. A move that Superintendent Dan Brashears says helps in future plans. It also gives our teachers a little bit more chance to prepare some of the materials for those students that are going to be out. Masks are currently optional, but the district is doing what they can to stop the spread. Altering transportation. We've added three bus routes so we could lower the number of students on buses and shorten the routes. And deep cleaning classrooms on the regular. But even with proactive measures, quarantines have spiked in the past week with 64 high school students homebound and another 49 in the elementary school. This is the first time that we've experienced a large number of students like this in a block uh, to have to quarantine. But the nights aren't alone. Tuesday, Secretary of Education Johnny Key revealed the first two weeks of school saw a statewide jump in COVID cases. We have seen an increase in the number of cases of students and staff. It has risen by uh, just under 300. A spike Brashears and staff are hoping to avoid in center point. So this upcoming virtual day. We want the kids here. Will hopefully be the last. Now, regarding their policy on masks, the Center Point School Board is planning on meeting this Friday to go over possible options, including the idea of a possible mask mandate. That's happening at 530 in the high school cafeteria for those interested. Reporting in studio, I'm Katrina Saf. Back to you.